Hi everyone, it's me Gabby and welcome back to my channel. So everybody knows that tennis is a very expensive sport because we quickly use up our shoes, our clothes, our strings and we have to replace our rackets every once in a while and yeah, so we have to replace our things from time to time and I'm gonna show you guys what my shoes looks like right now so this is the pair of shoes that I'm using and this it looks really worn out right <laughs> can see it here Nike please sponsor me and this is very relatable to tennis players whether you are a junior age grouper or a pro so in this video I will be teaching you guys how to get sponsors for your tennis equipment so before we start please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on my future updates so for your information guys I am sponsored by head Philippines so thank you so much head for sponsoring me and it's really awesome to be part of Team Head. And I signed my contract with them last, maybe I think it was 2018. So it's been two years since I became part of the Head family. So the reason why we want to get a sponsorship is to help lessen our expenses because we need to budget our money for our tournaments. And this will be a big help for us players. So there are two types of sponsorships. So the first one is partial sponsorships and in partial sponsorships you get discounts of their products. For example, you get 25 to or 50% discount on products. And the second one is full sponsorship. So for me, I get a full sponsorship from Head and I also get a membership card. So I'll be showing you the membership card. So this one so this is my membership card i won't be showing my face but here so i'll just focus it so yay this is my membership card this card is really awesome because i get i use this to get discounts for the products that i buy at chris parts and i also use this to get my racket strings for free which is very handy if I'm in a tournament in another city and I need to get my racket string so I just present this card and they string it for free. And I will be showing you guys the supply that I got from Head this year and I will be showing it later in the video. So there are a lot of racket companies just like Head, Wilson, um, Dunlop, Prince, Technifiber and etc. And they provide strings, grips, bags, and tennis rackets to promising athletes. But of course, you will prefer using the usual brand that you use. But switching brands may, may be worth it if you're gonna get them for free or at a preferred discount. So here are the things that you need to do to attract sponsors and gain a sponsorship. So the first one is... A lot of exposure in tournaments and you just need to keep on joining and competing and winning as many tournaments as possible so this is an important step if you want to attract sponsors and if you pu prove yourself that you are consistent in winning in tournaments and being a champion in your age division sponsors will start to approach you and offer you to represent their brand so all tennis brand manufacturers look at sponsorships as a way to promote their products and on-court advertising. So aside from that, I really enjoy joining tournaments in different cities because I love traveling and I get to experience new things and try out new food and the best part is making new friends. I actually made a lot of friends um in tournaments and it's really fun because we get to hang out after we play and yeah so number two is you gotta show a winning attitude on court so players should give their best attitude on court and i'm pretty sure you guys watch tennis on tv and 
You watch the professional tennis players smashing their rackets when they get mad. So that is a big no-no because sponsors wouldn't give sponsorships to players who abuse their rackets or their products. So for me, of course, I still get pissed on court. Like example, I missed this really easy shot. So yeah, the first thing that I see is my racket, but I don't really smash my racket, guys. So I'll learn to control your emotions and don't let it out on your racket. So number three is you should make a tennis resume. So when you apply for a sponsorship, you should make a tennis resume that has your rankings, your current, your tournament highlights, and your the list of the tournaments that you won. So I'm going to show you what my tennis resume looks like. So guys, this is what my tennis resume looks like. So I'm gonna zoom it, zoom it in for you guys. So there, it has my complete information, uh, plus my coach, and my email, and also my um, my highest rankings. So I'm gonna flip it for you guys. So number four is contacting sponsors. So if you think your resume is good enough and can attract sponsors, you can try contacting them as well. So every brand has this team or a manager that handles the tennis department and manages their sponsored athletes. So after trying to contact them, maybe they can try to arrange a meetup with you if they are interested. So this meetup will always, will usually be in their office or their official headquarters. I actually like visiting the head office every time we renew my contract or I pick up my supplies because it makes me feel like a pro and um, the head team is very uh, nice and they always welcome me every time I come and pay a visit so another awesome thing about being part of team head is that we get these we have these uh, gatherings every year where all the sponsored head players get together and we just have fun and yeah, we have a chance to bond and we get to play fun games and win some like prizes from head. So if you are targeting a specific brand for sponsorship, then I recommend you guys um, to join their tournaments. So every summer they have a lot of tournaments. So you should try to join that and win it of course because it is a higher chance for it is a higher chance for you to attract the team that handles the brand and maybe they can offer you a sponsorship so you should you guys should do that so back then my titas used to be sponsored by axel but for now uh, i'm not sure how sponsorships with apparels work so if you guys have an idea please comment down below so oh, now I'll be showing you my supply for this year from Head and thank you Head. So this is my bag. It's my bag for this year. And yeah, it's really big. And this is my racket. So I am using the instinct. I actually really like it when it's in a plastic. Here's my racket. So, my racket. And I also have new shirts. So, this is the green shirt. And this is the red version of the shirt. So, I'm going to open it for you guys. here I think I have two more pairs of these shirts but it's in the laundry and I also have a cap I haven't used it yet and the last one is a roll of string but I think I left it in the dorm but I'll be showing you a clip of all of these later so this is what my tennis resume looks like. So here I have 
my personal information and I have my international awards and here I have my titles for my age group there are more and these are um, arranged by year So guys, I'm also gonna show you some of my certificates and my clippings, my news clippings. So this is my certificate for World Juniors. Here is a headline, so I was in the headline. And here are more. So this was when I got my first MVP and this one was for Junior C training in Singapore and this was for my training in Thailand. So I'm gonna show you another clear book that is full of my certificates and my news clippings. So this was my first ever 12 under championship, which was back in 2011. And this is just a draw sheet. So I won in 10 under. And this is me, my, I'm in the headline. And these are, oh, this is my first ever international title in Selangor in Malaysia. And I was so excited to get this. And this was in Penang. And these are from Perlis and yeah, one more from Penang. I actually have a lot of certificates from Malaysia because I went, I competed in Malaysia for four years straight because I always joined the Milo tournaments there. So more Malaysia, Malaysia certificates. And this is the Penang draw sheet. So that's me. And Oh my gosh, this was the, this came with, this pri This was the envelope that had the, my prize money when I, when I won my first international title. <laughs> and this, I used this to score because we didn't really have an umpire, so I, I had really bad handwriting. <laughs> I was only 10 years old. So that's how I keep track of my score. And here, this was my head, my headline when I came back in the Philippines after winning my first international title. And yeah. So this was for uh, Junior Sea Games in Indonesia. So yeah, these are more um, Malaysia certificates. And more envelopes for prize money.
this is another certificate for C training in for yeah junior C training in Singapore. And this is not um, tennis related, but uh, this is for my journalism. So I won fifth place in editorial writing. And this was um, uh, an ATF tournament in India. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys learned something new today. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on my future updates. So if you want to know more about me, I will put the All About Me playlist link in the description box below and if you want to see my travel vlogs go check out my, my travel playlist and if you want to do some home workout go check my tennis training at home series so yeah that's it for this video and see you in the next vid bye